Here we go then guys, BMW 323i. Lovely looking car, a lot of work's been carried out on this. Um, yeah, and it, it, you know, well worth doing, it looks lovely. Um, engine seems to run sweet, just had it fired up. And um, yeah, it runs really well, I'll show you in a minute. But really nice everywhere you look, had a full restoration. Uh, I got a bit of a blurb here. Uh, good, got a couple of BMW booklets and bits and pieces. Spare key there. Uh, what have I got here? BMW E30 323i, uh, TC2, top cabriolet 1983. Uh, left hand drive, three former keepers, MOT till March 2023. In Polaris silver with black leather, still on original bottle top wheels that have been powder coated uh, and fi Firestone tyres. Uh, they were fitted back in 2018. The car was renovated back in 2017 with a full respray, new roof, carpets, bumpers re chromed, uh, timing kit belt, water pump fitted at 252 kilometres. I think it's now on 259 or something like that. We'll have a look in a second. Uh, fuel hoses, uh, coolant hoses, discs and pads, shock absorbers, um, original toolkit in the back, which I photographed. That's lovely. Uh, fire extinguisher and first aid kit. Um, obviously, oil and brake fluid was changed. Also comes with a folder of pictures through the renovation, which is behind this in a minute. And invoices uh, with the original service book uh, and manual for the roof guide. The dash cluster has intermittent problem that started to improve with use before going into storage. I don't know what that is. I'll have a look in a minute. But yeah, a couple of book packs here, uh, which is nice. A few there as well. Um, and here's some pictures of the renovation, the renovation, which is good. Nice to see. A lot of work's been carried out on the car. And uh, it just goes to show it's now in lovely condition. I think it's got 259k on the clock. What's that going to be? 160 odd thousand miles. Um, but yeah, in lovely order, just as you'd expect. Door skins are really good, interior superb. Obviously not done that long ago. Seats are in great condition all around. Same with the hood. Looks really good inside and on the top there. Manual, so you just twist that and it lifts up. Just had it working. Um, yeah, dashboard's really nice. Steering wheel's good, centre console's good. Obviously they've replaced fire extinguisher and a few other bits. Um, but yeah, well worth going to have a look at that guys. Nice car. Yeah, really nice. Wheels are in good order. Firestone tyres look relatively fresh. Um, I won't do it, it takes a bit of screw in that. But I photographed a lovely original toolkit under there. Carpets are nice and clean in the back. Cover there. What more do you want? Lovely car. All the bumpers are lovely, obviously got re chromed. Might be right underneath it, but I'm sure it'll look lovely. Looks good from what I can see. I don't know what that's picking up, but you might be able to see a few bits on there, but I'm sure it'll be good, it looks it. Um, but yeah, all in all, a well presented, well done renovation. Um, and it sort of speaks for itself, really. Really nice under the bonnet. All the sound deadening's neat and tidy. No rust spots on the, under the bonnet there. Um, just a bright looking car. Yeah, it's nice. I'll just stand up for you so you can hear it. Where am I? Bit of that. Oh, there you go. It must be a bit temperamental. That's what you must be meaning. It's only that RPM gauge there. But yeah, seems to run really well. Sounds nice. There we go. We're back again now. Ah, we're all right, aren't we? Good, that's all right. Don't know what that says. Um, <laughs> but no, all in all, guys, nice car. I'm quite impressed with it, actually. No, I quite like it. It's down on display at Pickering. So uh, come down, have a look through all the time. And um, yeah, come and see what you think, but well worth traveling for. And. Uh, that's about all I can say for this one. Lovely car.